<coughs> so Brooke, you're going to be opening up, right? And then uh, Corrine, you're going to be helping, okay? Uh, so whenever you establish, do you have what you need to be established open? Where's your case? Where's your what? So let's think about it in the real world, right? You're in room two. We need to do a so-and-so case. What goes through your mind? You just, I mean, I, okay, good. So do we have any of that? So where's your little bin that had some basic stuff in it? Do you have one of those? From, you were, were you here the first day, right? Yeah. How about you, Corrine? Do you have yours? Can you get with her and just go find a bin that has some a three quarter sheet? You have a bin that has all your extra supplies in it. So this we is about this is like getting your case right because you just can't card. walk into a room and say, "I'm ready to open up." Open up what? You don't have anything. <laughs> That's good. Remember, and it's a good start. <laughs> Completely lapsed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being real. This is real world. You stuff. got it. They're, they're not. They're going to look at you like, let's open up. And obviously, as a student, they're going to have it for you. But just remember, when you're doing your case, it's not just a basic pack. You have lots of other little things you have to have to open. And I just gave you some basic stuff there, right? Just enough to get the field, reinforce, right? Open it up, get it. So you'll want to set that on your side. No, I was trying to find something. Does anyone need me to tell? Do you guys have that little preference card I gave you in the beginning? No. Yes. You don't get So what I'm going to say, if you guys want to get a little notepad, and I can write, you guys can write it down, or you can remember. As long as you have everything, Lily, so that's exactly sure you it. Stuff. Okay. And you guys so this is to get here. Is this and what I want you to do is verify that you have it before we open Okay, that's Sarah, so this must be yours. Okay, so yeah, so there's going to be a... You got exactly what you need. Good job. Um, the main thing is, is the only thing is, is in the real world, you would not put your fluids okay. your, or your, your injectables and stuff inside with your sterile supply. Do you know why? No, it's not necessarily it's going to contaminate it, but for any reason, and get a laparoscopic a leak, uh, and, drape, okay? You and it got, <laughs> and get some sutures of some kind. And it would leak and get on this Make stuff. Sure you have so it'd be all have to be thrown. Three quarter so, sheet. In the real world, you wouldn't do that. You but got good your job. Pack. And I'll grab a seven and a half or an eight for the doctors. Make sure you have the doctor's gloves. In your case, maybe a six and a half, okay? So what you need to do is verify if you're not sure what the doctor's size is, right? If you're not sure, in this case, grab a six and a half for you, Lily, and seven or eight for this side. I do have piano hands. Yeah, so whenever, whenever you're told to, to pick a case, this is what you would do. You would go through every case I do, um, I grab the preference card and I go through. And then what I do is I separate the things that are going to be open and separate the things that are going to be available. So like, you know, you're, what you're going to open, I always do is I set my, my tray up here. Or on a, on a ring stand, and then I just put everything I'm going to open on here. So we have to either And then just kind of have it, because then you've got it already you know, you down, set up, and you know yes. that once you open, yeah, that, that this is what you're going to all but have. So you look at your card today, and say, okay, sure I need one laparotomy sure. drape. I need one three-quarter <laughs> drape. I need one sterile two yeah, towels. Well, but you already have towels in there. But you might need, like if it's... Uh, I'm um, just saying, before we go, let's do that. If it's, uh, 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 what's it called, um, lethotomy case, that, you might need more towels. Or if it's a larger patient with, and you're doing a, a laparotomy case, you might need more towels because you might need six towels to square off instead of just four, depending on how big the incision is going to be. So that's what you... And what it does is if you look like these... So, so it doesn't have anything, but here it says hold. What that means is this is exactly how a preference card is going to look. It's going to have like, let's say, um, some type of, some another type of suture here. And then you're going to hold it, which means you're not going to open it. Okay. Nope, these ones you open because it says open. 
these two here, you would open. But let's say this said um, a 4 Vicryl right here, okay? If that said 4 Vicryl and it says a hold, you would have it in your bin, it She's would be picked, but you would not open right, it. It would just stay She's in your bin, and your bin would just go off to the let's side. To this to the end, and that would be then, what will happen is so when the case started, like then the nurse would the say, about you, then all of a sudden the doctor says, oh, I do need that 4 Vicryl. You already have it in the room. You already have it ready. And then you just say, um, nurse, can you please that. open, so nurse, start, or so I say, Let's open, whatever, you don't even easy. call a nurse, you know, like, so you guys can work as a team to open Sarah, that. can you open the, um, can you open the floral white girl, the doctor would like it. That's all you'd have to do, and then you would add it to your counts. So, that's what the hold on these means. Not necessarily, do you open it, but, but. Is this like, is this a yep. Yep. Now. Yeah. Sure. So, so and then the other thing is, is, guys, so let's there, say um, you did, let's say you're doing two open appendectomies, okay? So this is the same surgeon, whatever else. All of a sudden the surgeon says, yep, I want that boral mic now. Well, the next one, he would just want to open it. Because if he used it the case before, most likely he's going to use it the next case. So it just varies. You just got to, it's it's stuff to pay attention to. It's not, everything isn't just black and white on here. You got to kind of listen. You got to listen. So Sarah, to what you're going to be setting that table up? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you got to listen to what the surgeon says. You got to kind of listen to those things. And then you, you remember in your mind, okay, I'm going to use that the next time. So. So Lily, uh, Sarah's going to get in there and start setting up. You establish what you need to be open and then start Then Sarah, up. step back from there when you're opening that pack. Don't get too close. So what, you, what I mean is what I mean is, is yeah. <laughs> so what I mean is, is when you're when you're holding that package, don't stand too close to the field because then you're, if it's got dust or anything, so oh, like with, the pack. with the pack itself. So. So now you would just kind of just go do the the three. Then it would be your three minute scrub is what it would be normally. So. So as long as you understand the initial scrub in the morning, yeah. um, what I want you to do for time purposes is get yourself a little wet okay. and get in there and dry off properly. Otherwise, we're not going to have enough time to see yeah. other stuff. No, that's perfectly good question. Yep. And that's why I turned to Brad because I didn't know what he specifically wanted today. <laughs> I'm just your helper. <laughs> so the bottom, like, all I look for is call, if you call yourself out, it means so much more than you know, you're not calling yourself out or asking questions, right? Now turn it over. Nope, Lily. Remember, pull it down and flip it. Yep. So when you open, don't don't go like this. I mean, you can start that way, but you can't go over the field and go like that. You've got to pull it down and flip it, okay? And then you're going to use the heel of your hand, and you're just going to kind of project it. So, like, if I were to do this one, and we'll open another one. But if I were to do this one, you'd want to take it and you'll want to pull it down. See how it projected? And I'm not even very close to the field. That's kind of what you want to do. You want to just project it onto the field without going over the field. Okay? And that's all stuff that will come in time. So don't worry. That's why we'll keep, go we'll keep going over it. <laughs> it's not a worry. So the answer is you should just open one tie. My bad. What was that? Uh, did you say the S word to me? <laughs> oh, no worries. Yeah, it's, it's open that suture is fine. Yes, ma'am. So also, if you think about it, and, and if you look on these preference cards, which you don't have, you went off the wall, but uh, on these preference cards, make sure you look on the side, because they'll say, not this one, but on an okay. example of one, it'll say open or don't open, or okay. how many to open. It's cost effective that way. Otherwise, you're just opening up everything. Maybe they want you to hold it, right? All right, open that needle there. I want to see you do it. Yeah, you open that. Let's see you do it. I'll help out. That's your field. So, yeah, go ahead and just start setting up the way you know, right? If you have any questions or if I see something, I might give you some pointers. But I want you to keep moving, right? Someone's going to stop you if you're not doing something right. But the point of just standing there is it's wasting time and not to be rude on that. But that's the reality. Patients coming in the room soon, right? So... Keep it simple, right? Just get a reinforced down. Get something on that you ring. You flipped stand, it right, though. Get it on a mayo, right? 
like, you would ha you would have to go get a new one. So go get it. Yep, you'd rewrap it or not rewrap it, but you would go get a new one out of the out of sterile processing or whatever. Or I mean, or this um, the core. It's called the room where all the stuff is stored. You'd have to get it and go get a new one. So just go get another one of these wrappers that's in there, and let's do it again. This is your time to practice. Good. Sarah, is, nope. is there something you're missing? Just think it through. I'm horrible at watching. We want to see if you can think. Think about it. I'll give you a hint. I like to dance on the weekend. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a common mistake. Right? And then, yep, just face your fields there. There you go. Sorry, thank you. You're welcome. We're both caught in it. Like, it's okay. It oh, is. gee. It's all right. It's not, it just, it, that's why it should be muscle memory and just yep. boom, 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 boom. But I, hey, listen, I hear you. Even yeah. nowadays, is like, even, yeah, you know, you're, oh, case. gosh, yes. If that's the least of the worries, I'll take it, right? <laughs> it's the spin. But the reality is that it, someone says your ass is hanging out, and that is the reality. You're yeah, that's what you're going to be told. Good job, Brooke. She's your foot. She's your foot. You might want to move that ring stand a little bit out yeah, of the way. Yeah, use your foot. Just, just, it's nothing wrong with saying, hey, you set it on top of it, Sarah. Stand. That'll help yeah, her like that. Fair, yeah. but just, you know, it's kind of hard for her to get in there. Yeah. Let's see but if you can do it. Her, just kind of do it there. Pretty good, yay! Uh, feel, mm -hmm. well, you know, if you can ask questions, hey, move stuff out of the way. Just you know, you, this you is need? yours. Just yeah, I'll rewrap those because right? we're not going to really drape off the patient. Hey, so. hey, At know, least I don't think so. Or out of the way. Yeah, you can, but I'm about to break this back. Oh, okay. 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 Good job. Looks good. So you're going to have uh, Brooks and you're going to have people and uh, Sarah, they're going to have come to you. Get that tray to your field as soon as possible. Yep. Because you know what? They want to get that count done. And I know yep, this so is a little a advanced, her, but Lili. we um, want to get that tray to that field. This ring stand and set it on. And you can open it on there. The reason is there's two things too. We want to we want to verify that the tray is not contaminated because God forbid it's the last tray, right? You know, so it's good to have it open. Check for uh, it's been. And then remember to step back a little bit, Kareen, so that it's not being opened on top. Oh no, don't worry. What are we looking for? No holes except for the one in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I know that sounds corny, but that's the way I was trained to yep. let everyone in the room know that you're looking at it. Is it just you, Lily, looking at it? Or is it both of you guys looking at it? It's a redundant system, yeah. So it's yeah. just like you're both checking. Otherwise, it's all the pressure falls onto you now. No, you're supposed to be both because, Sarah, that's your field, right? So you want to talk out loud. Say it out loud so that every, you know, the room here is actually circulator. And then what will happen is, is people, what they'll do is they'll just automatically look up and look at the same time. So, and you can just set that over here if you want to. It's your time to yell in the, in the OR. Right? Yeah, you get to talk really loud. No strike through, no holes. All right, Brad, be quiet. No problem. Don't be too loud, Brad. <laughs> Brad, did you take your medication today? What? They say, Brad, did you take your medication? Today? <laughs> no, doctor. Yep, grab it off there. Sarah, Sarah, yep, just grab right at the tip. Yep, there you go. And then that way you control where that blade goes. And just kind of lay it on there. You don't have to stick it in. Just kind of lay it on there. You don't need to grab, yep, just try not to grab the white part. Yeah, I know. Because it's stuck in there. And it's just, a, it's just so the blade doesn't poke through the wrapper is all. Ready for a count? Uh -huh. Okay. 
And Sarah, just leave that um, ring basin inside the ring stand. Just get it off there as quickly as you can. That way you can grab your instruments so when the nurse is ready, you're ready. Okay. You want to get some medication and saline, and then I'll do that count. Uh, is there anything you're missing, Brooks? Just curious how you're, what's going through your mind. You're doing really well. Is there anything? I agree. Is there anything you think you're missing? Really, found her voice. I like it. <laughs> okay. My surgeon's love. Okay. You like this? Is, this is okay? What do you? No, it's not set up. Okay, good. I'm just, I'm just wanna, no worries. You're going to do a count first? Let's get a count. I'll do a count with you, and then you get some medication, and then I'll jump over to... This is tray one, right? That's tray one? That's tray one. This is tray two. Okay. So you're ready for a count? You got... Uh, so I'm just going to tell you just a little thing. Gather your sharps that need to be counted into one it little depends. area. Don't put your back. So put them all... Let's step back. No, the thing so, is, is you can... What you're going to so want to do is... Suture, labs, um, ratex. Make sure they're all in one little area. You want to get ready for your count. count. Um, over, and then if the nurse the is still busy, you can't so set with text, you know, okay. instruments on there, but you can get other things set up on there, which you kind of do. Um, but and then you want to also think about how you're going to go to the field. So would you want your sponges there or there? Why are you overwhelmed? Yeah, why? I don't know, I can't remember. Because, now think about it this way. I'm going to touch your field. Just normally you would not do this, so set it there. The reason why is because when you pull this up to the field, you want to look at how you're going to go up to the field. Nine. This is where you're going to be standing. Okay. You want everything as yeah, close to you as possible. Yeah, so your sponges are easy to count. So that's a good question. Away. I'll go over the correct All right. So what you're going to kind of do is you're going to kind of get ready for your count. Um, now you're going to kind of organize your instruments so that you can get ready for your count. And then you call for your count. Say, hey, I'm ready to count. So I'll go grab a tray two sheet. All right, so laps. Can I open one? I'm sorry, bro. Yes, ma'am. Collapse. All right, Sarah, we're, what do we start with? Sutures. Yes, Those are do. blades. Thank sutures. You. What do we start with? Sure. I agree. Blades. Whenever we count, what do we always start with? Uh, hypo. Remember? What do we start with? Hypo needle. Yeah. Do we have okay. any laps? No. Okay. Nice. All right. Just one. So what's next? So it's important. Go for, for it. Let me see. I'm just trying. Okay. One. So here's how. I'll I'll you're doing. One, two, you're doing great. I'm just three, saying, like, four, don't get overwhelmed. Five, I'm just saying six, they're just doing a count, right? So if seven, someone live, you were the nurse, and I would be like seven, one okay. visually. They All right. See it, um, right. cottonoids. Just don't go. Two. Zero. Make sure they're they're seeing it. Right. One. Two. Hypo, and make sure you take the hypo out. Make sure you're visually showing them in because you're protecting yourself. Remember what we talked about line, was needles. Count, right? what we it's going to fall back oh. onto you. Not the nurse is like, well, you told me one. Well, in reality, there was another one hidden under there. What's your right? needles? Otherwise, you're doing great. All right, so. Oh. Bobby, there you go. Do you have any suture needles? I should, so I don't. So, all right, so we'd have to get those. All right. There you go. So how many? Two. Like all that. right. How many blades? Just both so I can do. Let's do some instruments. All right. How are you many ready? hypos? So would, would you like? Um, what I want you to do is that's fine. And then start. Let's can we pull that back just a little bit? Um, Should I have one more? Yes, ma'am. I'm just going to come back. Is it locked? No, perfect. Oh, okay. So from your right hand side from the uh, towel plants, start telling me the names. Of yeah, this. you opened it onto there. So what I usually do is take this. And That's what we're looking for. And just tell me the names as you're going through. The best of your ability, okay? But you want to do that fast. So when that happens, which what typo do you have? Okay, so this is the funny thing is this does happen. So what you start doing is this. Here, hold this for a second. You start doing this. Oh, that's exactly where it is. Shit is not the right answer. Believe me. But this is why we got to do this quickly and do this more. Now, what you can't get at it then, but. What's your instinct? So then, what you do. No. So, do you see a difference in sizes? Are these mosquitoes? These are not. It's not. They're too big mosquitoes. Okay. She had one that. She flipped it on here. I saw her. Mosquitoes. 
Did it get Three, caught in your drapes? Five, six curved pellets, one, two straight. There it is. Oh, okay. and there's your neat sutures. Oh, wow. All right. Don't get fresh. So that's what you got to look for. Here, I'll take my paper back now. Okay, so we have to go. Okay, okay how many sutures? We don't know. That's All right, how many know. hypos? One, two. What are, what do you think? All right, that's and how many blades? One, two. All right, and then how many bulbies? Yes. Do you, do you like One. Pepsi or Perfect. Coke? All right. So now instruments. Two, three, four, okay. What do you want to start with? Two, three, four, sure. Two, start with the tractors. Oh, yeah. 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 Sometimes that's what the nurse will do. They'll ask you, what do you want to start with? Holy snip. Right. Those are tons Yeah. Seven, two, eight, yep. one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Can you tell me the name? Four, five, two, two, three, six. Yep. Two of the bases, one of the Two of my candles. Okay. Three hours with two. Three hours, two, three, four, the bickle, five, seven, seven. Outstanding uh, retractors. Yep. These are a retractors. One, two, three, two right now. Three. Good job. Four long circle One, two, three, four, four, One, two, three, four, four, three, four, four, three, four, 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 these, with you say rakes or both? No, nope. should not say anything. Insane, so. Let me see. Oh, where are they? <laughs> are you uh, giving them? Yeah, what are those? There's a rake here. It's got a two. The council doesn't have a two, so what would they this be? This is a rake, a, a rake, and they, they call them these Volkman retractors. Volkman retractors. Volkman so rake retractors. Uh, there's two prong retractors. There's very small sen ones like you have. Uh, what is it, Lily? Yeah, they send early. You, you can't make it. Yep. And they okay. come one or two prongs, but they call them the name or both of But they're all very similar. If you give this as a rake, the doctor probably won't have to know the difference. But you need bigger, you have bigger grasp of that. You count complete, right? Good. All right. So set up your mail. But what I want to do is you describe it and go through this count just like she did. And then eventually we're all going to go to the field. Okay. But I want you to get your gown. So get a get your gown and glove and get into the field though. One, so I have one question for you. So you count your scissors um, together. Do you feel frustrated? Right, one, two, three, do you feel like pressure yep. is being brought to you a little bit? There you because go. I noticed two things that I'm just it's me. I'm just your instructor, right? But I'm saying in the field, if they're asking you, you have to be. It really takes a lot of effort to just bite your lip, and I'm not saying. Because it could be misinterpreted many different ways. So I give an example. Can I, I said, uh, can I tell me the names of those four steps? You said, "Well, I'll have to pick it up." How, how would you perceive that? I'm just trying to give you some advice on it. Say, so yes, ma'am. Yes, basically, yes, what you're going to want to do is That's you probably wouldn't need a rope to brush it up, but I do. I'm trying to so, control that. Question for you. And so we go to the field. Okay, we're all ready. Right. Surgeons up there. What is the first thing we need to do? What they want is just know what the information. Stop for what. Time out. Okay. What? So when they're when they're doing their, their timeout, what is the next thing so they're going to probably was, ask for? I'm just Very good. What's, what's the next thing? When nope. A little what bit do of they do first? Is brought to you. Do, you, do you find that's uncomfortable for you okay. a little bit? Nope. We can't cut yet. Yeah. Do a scrub and I'll tie you. Timeout. I think you did. They, they, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then, so your frustration is just they the local. They call it the local. Then what do they do? In the real world, is so when they do a blade. Okay, what would they it. do next? They're not After do they that, make right? their incision, what do you think they're going to do next? Four steps and what? I'm just saying you know it. And, uh, 
they'll say Bovi. Again, they'll okay. say how many. Then they're gonna probably want some type of retractor at that point in time, whether it's a sense or maybe or something. Not, they're gonna start they're starting good. to get deeper. So it's they're gonna need a little bit of retractor. They might even ask for a wheat lantern, but next time you do it, or something like that. Then they're just gonna basically at that point that's what they're doing. They're just getting down to where they need to be, whether it's hernia, hysterectomy, or whatever it is, they're getting to where they need to be. Okay. Now, if we do a hernia case, do we have to count instruments? It's like putting out a fire, you know, and people, things are going to get set. No, no. If Why? If we take it personal, and they all are, man. I, I would lose Yet we're not mind. entering the parenting. It's about the patient. So the things only time you have things to count for a hernia case sometimes is the ventral hernia because it can be up here, and sometimes it is large enough where you do enter the parenting. Nurses are asking for information. But if you you count the instruments ahead of time, but if you don't enter the peritoneum. Let's say you're not, the ventral hernia is not and as we're going to let Crane do a count. So you don't have you to count instruments at the end. Together. Okay. But you can, get, you can get some blue towels down so, here, Brooks. Come if on. you are setting up and you're doing a ventral hernia, okay? If you're doing that, you're going to count before. Because there is that possibility you're going to enter that peritoneum. But let's say we do the case and we did not enter the peritoneum or the incisions like this big. Then we don't have to do the what second about, like, instrument count. If it's like a carpal tunnel, do you have to count before? Oh, uh, you never have to count instruments for a carpal tunnel. Before or okay. Why? Because you're not entering. Correct. Yeah. The only time you have to worry about counting instruments is if you enter the abdomen. That is where you have to count instruments. Also, I so, never, we never done that. Yeah. See. <laughs> that's so, good. but then that's but that's the thing. So that this is from here to here is all you have to worry about ever counting instruments, okay? If you're doing a carpal tunnel, if you're doing teeth, if you're doing eyes, if you're doing a elbow, if you're doing a knee, a hip, anything like that, you don't have to count instruments. You will count everything else, but you will not have to count instruments. Now, some of these gallons are donated and not the easiest. What's your question? Yeah, it just got put in there closed, that's all. So, it still, remember, went through the sterile process. Our sterile process. <laughs> Are you ready for the next one? Do you normally have the ties hanging down? No, I actually have them folded. Uh, what I usually do is they're tucked under this. So, come here for a second. So, remember what, uh, what we talked about? These sit. So what I want you to do is remember I said we we take and these start off with and right they right start off up, right. up right here. Right. So I want to see your technique okay. like this. Okay. Then once you get to your field, then once you're draped out, then you flip, take them and you quick flip them down. You have them set underneath the to towel. But then once you're at the field, then you can flip them down because you have a sterile field underneath. But if you do it beforehand. There's nothing sterile underneath, and it can hit something. It can contaminate. So you always want to start with the with the ties up in there, and you want to kind of have them all in nice, even. Okay, laps. Let's see here. Where's this one? One, two, three, four, five laps. This one, out. So we'll set these over there. One hypo. Blades. So, yeah. So what I always do is I start off by putting my ties just kind of like this. Okay. And then once I get to you the field, you don't want to say you want to show them. I know. I have one. No. You know. Where's the suture? So I just kind of start with that, and then once I get to the field, then I just flip them down. That's it. Cool. I just Why is it important like, to like look right? I kind of go like this, and I just pull you literally here. Watch. If I was you, keep them nice, and that way you don't get risk about contamination. about I was just literally saying. That makes sense. See one because believe it or not, if you don't look at it, sometimes sometimes they're double loaded in there. So make sure you're showing it. All right, sutures okay, one. Yeah, so what does that mean? All right, Bobby tip. Sailing. Sailing. So what is, so NA means what? Well, all right, let's start what from your left, the towel. Yep, sodium chloride. So what is sodium chloride? Sailing. <laughs> so all you have to do is just say sailing. Sailing. One, two, three, four. Perfect towel clips. One, two, three, four. Non-perfect towel clips. One, two. Three, four. Alright, Lily, why don't you scrub in and I'll give the drugs. Three, four. Um, we have four, five, six jellies. Alright. Curved jellies. One, two. Straight jellies. One. Two, Remember, you already have a gown up there. Oh. So you can use that to put in her pack afterwards. Okay. 
So we have half percent marking with one, Epi. Two, right ankle. X. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm a little tired. So go pretend to come in wet. Two, baby. No, no, no. Two. Oh, I'm sorry. I should go up around. No, I'm going to wait for it. But then I'm going to have to skip those real quick. One, two. I'm going to tell you they're both. Tonsils. No, well, there are four tonsils. No. Okay. Tonsils. One. Nope. These are not tonsils? No, they're procedures. Eight. Oh, sorry. Needle holders. So how many have? Small one. So in total? Duh. Don't worry, one, about it. I got you. One, two, three, four, four needle holders. Outstanding. One, two, two mets. One, two, two mets. Let's see. One curve male. One, two, regular male. One, two, sponge. One, sponge sticks. Or four sticks. And then just watch all uh, that towel hits 